Yep. Hey, I'm Chris. Welcome to the Strength Kitchen. We're making pizza dough today. But before we get going, we need to talk about some math. Okay, when I make pizza dough, I'm really using the do-it-all dough. And you'll see the do-it-all dough across the channel in uh, the sourdough round, sandwich bread, um, and the oval playlists. And it's a 75% hydration dough. 75% being the water content of that dough. Now, when I talk about dough, I always refer to the flour weight because it's the constant. Everything else is a percentage. So when I say a 500 gram batch of dough, I'm talking purely about the flour weight and I'm not including the weight of the starter, the salt, and the water. Now, when we make pizza dough, you, you have the freedom to kind of adjust your water content based on your experience with dough. I find 75% to be uh, pretty like medium easy to handle and you're, you're gonna figure out like based on your environment uh, the gluten protein content of your flour and you know just kind of your skill level what's an appropriate hydration I will say that drier makes things easier wetter makes things more slack and requires just a little bit more skill and handling for pizzas we're going 10 inch pizzas because uh, we go like one at a time and we turn pizza pizza night into like kind of a family activity where we just really kind of stretch out the, the dining, hanging out experience because everybody goes one at a time. Each pizza takes about 10 minutes in the oven. So it, it's a cool thing to do with, you know, a group of four or so. 125 grams of flour makes a 246 gram dough ball, which makes a perfect amount of dough for a 10 inch pizza. So if we look at 500 gram batch of flour, which is a common weight for, you know, our sourdough sandwich bread or sourdough round or uh, an oval, 500 divided by four is 125. So there's four pizzas, four 10 inch pizzas that you can make out of a 500 gram batch of dough. Now, what if you want to make a six pizza? Well, add 125 grams. So then you have a 625 gram batch and your percentages will be in the des description below. 75% water, 20% starter, 2% salt. And whatever your total flour weight is, you apply those percentages, and then, you know, you've got your water, you've got your starter, you've got your salt weights. Uh, so you can scale up, you can scale down. Now, I'm going to do a 725 gram batch of pizza dough. I'm talking about the flour, right? And then I'm gonna apply those percentages to my 725. Now, why am I making 725? That's an odd number. Well, I've got 500 grams in there where I'm going to make my four 10 inch pizzas. I'm going to get my four 240 ish gram dough balls, but then I've got more dough left over and I should yield like finished dough weight about 450 grams of dough out of that 225 grams of extra flour, right? So 500 grams will make my four pizzas, and then the other 225 is going to make my, my big guy, which is going to turn into like a, a 16 inch, you know, large pizza. It's going to be the lunch pizza for the next day because who doesn't like having leftover pizza? And it makes it so I don't have to make like two more 10 inch pizzas. It makes it so I just make like one big guy and kind of cuts on some of my cooking time or my kitchen time. So if you wanted to make a bigger pizza, I don't recommend it if you're new to this because shaping with a larger piece of dough is gonna require a little bit more skill, and not just in shaping, but also getting it off your peel and getting it in the oven. Now, if you do wanna take that approach, I will say that about, uh, so 225 grams of flour weight will make you a legit 16 inch pizza. So, you, you know, 200 to 225 in that neighborhood. So if you're looking for something big, um, 200 to 225 of flour weight. Apply the percentages and then, you know, you're good to go. So you can really kind of play with the math here to determine how much dough do I want to make now to yield the number of pizzas that I want to make later. Uh, all right, so we're just going to go through the process of mixing together, stretching and folding and bulk fermentation. And it's, it's really the same process of the do it all dough. And of, let's see, what else do I want to include? So I've got active starter. Uh, I fed this guy last night and it, it's ready. Uh, we're going 725 flour, 
We're going 545 water, I think, for my 75% water. Starter's 20%, so I've got 145 grams of starter. And then our salt is 14 and a half grams, which is 2% of my 725. Um, 14 and a half grams, if you end up with a decimal point in any of your math as you're scaling this up and down, just round up. Like, you know, 14 and a half grams of salt, I'm going 15. Uh, no big deal. Uh, same with the starter, or my water. My water, I think, really came out to 543.5. Round up, no big deal. Uh, it's not going to hurt you. Um, what else? Nothing else. Let's mix some dough. We're making pizza dough. 